Celebrations are marking the Lunar New Year, the year of the ox, and that includes fireworks. Artists in China threw molten iron against a wall to create these effects. The pandemic, though, has again put a damper on most festivities. And in this country, what should be a celebratory time coincides with a disturbing surge of racist attacks against Asian Americans. Here's CBS's Nancy Chen. This surveillance footage shows a 71-year-old Asian grandmother violently shoved to the ground, her purse stolen. Just one of several attacks in California's Bay Area recently. A 91-year-old man pushed in Oakland's Chinatown, one of three attacks that day. 84-year-old Thai American Visha Ratanapakti knocked over while out for a walk. He died a few days later from his injuries. His family saying they believe it was rooted in racism. This guy should not be let up back on the street. He should be charged with, with murder. If you see the video, there's nothing non-intentional about it. Asian American leaders say these attacks are a trend, not isolated incidents. What we are seeing is just the tip of the iceberg of what is actually happening in the communities. John Yang is the president of Asian Americans Advancing Justice and blames, in part, anti-Asian rhetoric surrounding the pandemic. The Asian American community has been faced with effectively two pandemics. The first is the COVID-19 pandemic, but the second pandemic that we have faced is also a virus. It's a virus of racism that we have faced. Asian Americans Advancing Justice has cited at least 3,000 anti-Asian incidents since last February. In New York City, there was an 867% increase in Asian hate crime victims in 2020 compared to the year before. NYPD has created a hate crimes task force. Hello. And police in Oakland's Chinatown are stepping up patrols to reassure business owners and families. We want our business owners in our community to know that we care, that we're concerned, and that we're going to do everything we can to keep this community safe. Nancy Chen, CBS News, New York.